number two was really weird. I'll, I'll record that later. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. The phone was... <clears throat> so, at the beginning of the meeting, I saw this body of water with a small beach in front of it. And then right behind it was this really thick forest. And it, as the vision went into the forest, there was a um, stairway going up this mountain. And coming down that stairway was a big group of nuns. And they were very, um, moving very fast. They were in haste. They wanted to get down these stairs. They, they seemed to be afraid of something. Um, the one in the front had this, bas- this basket bag. Um, It was like rectangular basket purse bag thing. And she started to like throw things out. It reminded me of like when you have drugs or something and you're trying to get rid of them before the cops (laughs) catch you. But she just was. Yeah, 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 exactly. So she was trying, she was throwing out all this, this contraband, like religious contraband actually. And when she got to this one item, instead of throwing it out, she actually pulled it out. It was like, it was like a like a scepter type thing and at the top of it it had some items um which I didn't see until she passed it but she 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 passed it up so she passed it from from woman to woman to woman until it was at the very top and that last woman she she began to when she had that item she began to kind of puff up and become proud and she the best way that I can describe what was on top of that item was um in a lot of Catholic books or pictures, when you see Jesus or you see Mary, there's like this light above their heads. Um, it's like a crown of glory. Yeah. Um, it's got like spikes. It's meant to be like bright or whatever. That was on top of it. And she took it off and put it on her own head. And then there was the Star of David. I don't even know what that is. I thought that was like a Jewish thing. But then she kind of threw it and crushed it. And then once she did these things, the staff or scepter or whatever became like a blowtorch. And in her pride, she began to torch the forest. And so a large portion was burnt to the ground, just caught on fire and burnt to the ground. And then up up above all of this, there was a alcove and there was actually a lion that came out to see what was going on and saw the smoke and saw what was going on. And right away at his feet, there was this um, tiger that came and laid itself down at its feet and either slept or died. And the lion let out a huge roar. Um, And then that was like the first time. And then after he did the huge roar the first time, he took his claws and he began to cut through the realm that he was in into another. And in that realm were evil spirits. One was a snake and it died. And then you could see past that there were other things that were evil in this evil realm. And so after it cut through into this realm and killed the snake and killed, I guess, other things or exposed. The word was exposed. He exposed this darkness. Um, He let out another roar. And this roar came with a wind. And this wind turned into this, like, angel woman who carried a... It reminded me of what you use to guard, like, a watering can. And she took it to the water. And then she went and put out this fire that had caught from this lady. And then after the fire was put out, it was all barren and black. But then the wind, either a continual wind from the lion... It was a breath. The breath of the lion is what was able to do this. And it restored this um, forest to its original state, which was full and, like, lavishing. And that was the vision.